like most farms, it was just a piece of concrete with a water tank and a chemical store next to it. Problem being, of course, if you had a spillage or any drips from the sprayer when you're filling up, if you didn't mop them up very quickly with some sort of granule, they were on the concrete and then when you had some rainfall, they would of course end up down, your, down the land drain or down through your yard drain and down, out into the water courses. A sprayer fill area, so a bunded concrete pad, the water then drains off that down through a drain, through a silt trap, into a tank and then strip fed across the top of your bio bed, which is a lined hole in the ground filled with a mixture of straw, soil and compost. That then trickles down through and what you get at the end is clean water that's fed onto an irrigation area. When you have an inspection from rural payments or cross compliance or environment agency or even with ACCS, again it ticks the boxes. You're looking to be seen to doing the job properly and you are doing the job properly. You know, there's no messing about anymore. It's all about improving the water quality in the catchment and we found through the series of studies we're doing that a lot of the pesticides come from farmyard drains. So this is a way of minimising that. So I would definitely advise any farmer who's doing a large amount of spraying to do something similar. You need to be seen to be doing the job properly and I think this is the way forward. The Environment Agency have sanctioned biobeds now, they're quite happy with them, they seem to think it's the way forward. If every farm can improve their sprayer filling area in some ways to minimise that pesticide runoff from the farmyards into the watercourses and that would be brilliant for the catchment. A biobed is one of the means of doing that. Other ways is a biofilter which is a stack of three IBCs filled with the same mix that does the same work. Or you could roof over your sprayer fill area so have a bunded concrete area roofed over. So if every farm could be thinking through this process, thinking through their sprayer filling area and finding out ways to improve it then that would benefit us greatly in the catchment. Yeah, it's definitely the way forward, without any shadow of a doubt. How we've been doing spraying in the past with our filling areas really has not been up to scratch. <laughs>